Hi, Willa Michant here. You're reading for Awakening Your Consciousness for March 4th, 2019. This is for all of you who are going through your enlightenment, your awakening time to expand your consciousness. So I'm going to be pulling a nine card reading for you today, three cards at a time. We're going to see what the divine source has in the way of a message for you so that it will help you for this week. So let me go ahead and I'm going to shuffle the cards here for us. All right, let's pull the first three cards. So the first card that got pulled is the Nine of Cups. Now the Nine of Cups is the card of reaching for what your heart desires, but knowing that you have the support around you from your friends, your family, those people who are important to you, but also from the divine. It's like your spirit guides, your divine source is around you and supporting you at this time. So it's okay to reach for what you want. So go after what your heart desires. Now the next card we have is judgment. Now the one thing that can hold us back sometimes from the things that we desire in our life is that we judge ourselves. Well, maybe people will think I'm being selfish or greedy or what if I can't do it? What if I'm not good enough? And worrying about how others look at you and what they think of you. But if we can start to eliminate judgment completely from our lives, not judge ourselves harshly, not worry about what other people think, and also not judge others, our world will be better in which we live and will help us, it will help you raise your vibration. So don't dwell on negatives of judgment. Now the next card that, that we pulled here is the King of Wands. Now the King of Wands, I always feel from him is success, but in a less boastful way. He's more of the compassionate person. He feels success. So it's good to feel your success. You don't have to be you know, announcing it to the world, unless that's something that's important to the success. But when you can just feel that you're getting there, understand that with what we've pulled so far, whatever your goal is, you believe in yourself. Understand that the divine source, your spirit guides, your angels, those people who love you, they're the ones that are supporting you. They're the ones that are important. You should never worry about judging yourself. And remember to feel your success. Just know that you're getting there. Things are starting to fall into place for you. You're going to feel that shift in energy vibration this week. So just kind of soak it all in. Okay? So let's pull three more cards. All right, so the next card is the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups, sometimes we sit there and are wishfully thinking, oh, man, I wish, I wish, I wish I had this. I wish I could do that. But what you're missing is the blessings that are already there, that the hand of spirit has already given you so much. So this card, when I see this card, it reminds me to live in the state of gratitude, not wishful thinking. Because when we're grateful for what we already have, we become the magnet to attract more good things, more blessings into our life. So try this week to be grateful at the end of each day. Go, you know what? I had such a good day. That happened. Even if you didn't have such a good day, find one thing that you say that you can be grateful for. 
It could be that the sun came out. It stopped raining. It doesn't matter anything else. Maybe that one thing for one moment, you felt a little bit of relief or joy. Be grateful for that. And at the end of the day, just say, you know what? Thank you, thank you, thank you, universe. Thank you, divine source, for that blessing. And I'm opening myself to more, to more, tomorrow, to more, tomorrow. <laughs> but it's really about counting the blessings that you have and living in a state of gratitude this week. It's going to be important. Okay, your next card, the Knight of Pentacles. So... The energies, the divine source is saying you are going in the right direction. You will feel more like you're safe, you're secure. You know you're heading the right way. Don't doubt yourself because you're going in the right direction. When you eliminate judgment, when you believe in the goals that you set for yourself and know you can do it, you're going in the right direction. You are raising your vibration and that is what's important. The next card is the Knight of Cups. Now, when we think of the Knight, we think of them on the horse and they're always going on some quest but the one thing that's important is, is your heart in your goal? Is your heart, is your passion in what you want to be doing, what you want in your life? When we are doing what our sole purpose is, what our passion is, we are going to find more joy. We are going to find more success in that goal. I always say, if you're doing a job you hate, keep doing it until you can find something better. But make sure that when you start to choose what you want to be doing, that your heart is in it. It's not just about money. It's really about what your heart wants to do. If you want to be an artist, be an artist. If you want to be a doctor, be a doctor. If you want to be a photographer, be a photographer. Even if you have to do other things to pay the bills on the side, of course, not if you're a doctor, but anything else, it's okay so long as you are doing something you are passionate about, that your heart is truly in, then you'll be going in the right direction for that as well. So you may this week be thinking, well, what do I really want to do when I grow up? So let's pull three more, our final three cards. So I got the Fool reversed. I like it reversed. It still says you got to take a leap of faith sometimes, but fools rush in. So when he's reversed, he thinks about it a little bit. He doesn't just jump in and do it. Now, I'm not telling you to overthink things because that's not what you need to do. But what you really need to do is trust your instincts, trust your intuition. And sometimes, even when it's something that we're passionate about and it's a little scary, sometimes we just have to take that leap and you can do it because you're going to be starting on a little bit of a new journey this week. This is a new chapter something that you've already put in the works with your thoughts. You didn't know that your thoughts were that powerful? Well, they are. The minute you think about, oh, I really want to do that, the divine energies, universe is already here in you. It's already started. So don't throw salt on your garden. Water it and give it love. And that's what you're doing to your goals. You're watering them and giving them love. All right, what's next, Cart? Okay, the star. Now, came up reversed. So what I'm feeling with this is that if you're feeling down, if you feel 
your vibrations, your energy is being drained. You're not as happy. You're not as joyful. You're not as positive. Ask yourself, why? Now, sure, it, it could be chemical imbalance. It could be actual clinical depression. That's very po possible. I'm not saying that it's not. But is it your environment? Could it be the people that you're around? Could it be your job? It could be anything. So if you're finding things that are pulling your vibration down and holding you back, then you need to distance yourself from those things and find better situations, more uplifting people. Don't sit there and, and watch the news every day. That's going to bring you down. It's going to bring your vibration down. By watching the news, okay, so you're informed. However, what can you do to fix it? Not a whole lot. Instead, why don't you do a meditation every day and just send love out to the universe, love out to our planet, love out to all the beings that are on the planet, and not worry so much about what's going on on Facebook. Now, final card is the Wheel of Fortune. So some people say, ooh, this is the good luck card. The truth is we make our own luck. We make our own luck because we are the only ones that are making the actions happen in our life. So when we take action and we have all of these good things that we're putting out there, we're creating a positive energy. But if we sit there and we're down and we sit there and we doubt ourselves and we sit there and we complain and we sit there and watch the news, it brings our energy down. And when you bring your energy down, you can't reach your goals as easily. You can't have as much joy in your life. So let's raise the energy vibration. Let's have love more in our life and a lot less hate and a lot less worry. Worry is going to bring you down. So believe in yourself. So let's go over these real quickly. So the first three, let me get these picked up. So the first three was the nine of cups, judgment, the king of wands. So remember, it's okay to go after what you want. Reach for your goals. If your heart's in it, understand the divine source is supporting you. Your spirit guides are supporting you. Your angels are supporting you. Your loved ones that matter, who believe in you, support you. Judgment. Get rid of it. Don't judge yourself. Don't worry about what other people think. And don't judge others. Remember the old adage? I think it's in the Bible. It says, judge not, lest ye be judged. So don't even judge yourself. Remember that it's okay to be successful. You will be successful. You're going to start to realize the success this week. This is great. You're going to realize success this week. You're going to start to feel like things are falling into place. It's because the energies are shifting that direction for you. Okay, and we have the next three cards. We have the Four of Cups. Remember, live in the attitude of gratitude. So be grateful every day for the things you have in your life. You're going to attract more blessings. Don't just sit there wishfully thinking for things. Make it happen. Knight of Pentacles. Going in the right direction, you're going to feel this feeling of safety and security coming up. Just know you're going the right way. Knight of Cups. Follow your heart. Go after what you're passionate about. Do the things you love. You're going to find more success. Reversed Fool. Reverse Star and the Wheel of Fortune. So 
reverse fool, sometimes you got to take the leap of faith, but you have a new journey and a new chapter starting in your life. It might be a little thing. It might be a big thing, but you're going to have to just go for it. Feel it with your intuition. Feel it with your gut and then take the leap of faith, even if it's a little scary. Don't let your energy vibration be brought down by your surroundings or the people that are surrounding you. Make sure you are around positive people, positive influences. If your environment is bringing you down, get out. Go for a walk in the park. Go out, get some fresh air, get some sunshine. Turn on a song you like. Light some sage. Smudge yourself. Get rid of the negative energies. Try to bring your vibrations back up. Okay? But overall, you're the one creating your own luck and your own destiny. So, your actions, all of those actions that have brought you to where you are today, you don't have to worry about those. Those are the past. What's important is your actions from this moment forward because that's what's creating your future. You create your own luck. And so all I can say is I wish you many blessings this week. I think it's going to be a good week. You may learn some things, but bring your vibrations up, everyone. Don't bring them down. Bring them up with love. Bring them up with joy. Bring them up with music. Bring them up with sunshine. Go buy yourself some flowers and enjoy life. Till next week, be blessed.